Hello guys, welcome to my channel and this is a new video about a game I saw some time ago uh, during one of the presentations. I can't remember if it was Microsoft's or Sony's presentation where they first showed this game or it was uh, during uh, uh, Gamescom. Anyway, when I saw the trailer, I really liked this game and now I found out that uh, there is another Steam demo festival uh, and they released uh, the demo version of this game. So I directly jumped into this demo version to try it and now I will share some impressions with those of you who can't play the game or maybe would like to hear someone else telling if it's worth playing. And well, as you can see yourself, though, you made Yuzu really beautiful. The artwork, um, the colors, and the design by itself, it reminds me of um, a Ghibli or Ghibli. I don't know which way it is correct to say. Animation cartoons, like anime cartoons, you see this beautiful tree, grass, even the shadow, they made this beautiful shadow with uh, beautiful clouds, which are unfortunately not moving, and it, it seems kind of strange for me, maybe it's a technical obstacle, which didn't let them to do that, or maybe it was an artistic choice, because I can remember the beautiful clouds from Valkyria or Valtteri profile uh, on PS1. They had these beautiful sights too in the beginning of the game with these moving clouds and stuff. So I don't know why they didn't make moving clouds, but it's not terrible because uh, the rest of the game looks wonderful. And. Then there is this gameplay. I thought it would be a simple game where you run from point A to point B without doing much, but it appears it has some interesting puzzles. Not too hard, uh, but uh, which can also make you move your brains a little bit and even have some game orders when you will encounter some enemies. I'll show this part later. So, uh, yeah, th th these parts, like uh, these parts, it reminds me a little bit of Inside from the creature self Limbo on the gameplay part. And also their latest game uh, from sa same guys, or maybe half of the team of the same guys who made Inside. Uh, it's uh, the Alien Invasion game. Uh, which was released recently. It's called Somerville. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it, but uh, the parts where you encounter enemies, it will remind a little lot. Yeah, uh, by the way, the part when Lana asks this little creature to uh, help her, um, it reminds me that it sounds more like Russian, I don't know if any of you speaks Russian and can confirm me when you hear it. And here, here is this another part I included in this video because it also reminded me of uh, another um, a Dubly animation cartoon. Um, I spirited away with these creatures moving under the stone and I didn't even think that they can actually harm my companion cat-like creature i don't know i was standing and then they the like you can see they grabbed it away and so i was like what the hell <laughs> and then i realized that i still need it to ask to stay where it is so most of the puzzles maybe uh, oh well at least on one third of the game probably will be based on this thing like where you will ask your companion cat to stay where uh, he or she is or move where you need it to move when you can also ask ask it to cut ropes for you or move ropes down or or even go through the holes so it's i don't think it's going to be really boring i don't know how long this game will be but uh anyway it's looks beautiful so this other part you see it reminds me of summer wool it's not that i'm telling that the others were inspired by Summerwheel, 
but they still reminds me of this alien invasion thing. I don't even know if those things are alien or human created. We'll probably discover this when the game comes out. So, yeah, I uh, I don't know. What do you think about that? Just let me, let me know in the comments. And this is the section I decided to include. It's one of the sections where you meet one of your first enemies or it's the actually it's the second one um, we can see this traditional hiding in grass strategy um, uh, but this thing where you ask your cat to go into the hole and uh, distract the enemies was kind of fun I really like the art because um, you can move forward that way while your enemies are distracted by it but you need to be also fast so you won't get killed by the enemies. Yeah, so, oh, uh, that's it. You see, he saw him, and he got pissed off and angry, and tried to try to grab him. And the next part, I I lost actually in this part about three times or four. I can't remember. Yeah, I I'm kind of noob in in puzzle solving games but I, because I was thinking that tied me to just or distract uh, this uh, machine just by making this um, logs fall down but actually it appeared to be more kind of a violent death for my enemy so I understood that I need to call it towards me and you will see what happens yeah, the, it got squeezed under the logs. Very nice job, Lana. <laughs> so, yeah, th th that's that's it. Uh, I just I did I wanted to make this video a bit shorter and share my impressions. So I think this game looks really wonderful. Uh, you can see it here is the last part in the demo version where you will have this very beautiful side opening just in a couple of seconds, yeah. It looks so beautiful. I hope uh, it won't suffer from the same problem as Summer will well, where you are in a lot of closed spaces like mines or something. That was really killing the mood of the game. I hope this game will be much, much better. And it will become this year's favorite uh, indie game, like last year it was Stray. And I hope this year it will be the planet of Lana, or we will have more games, you do better indie games. So thanks for watching, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and see you next time.